Oh. Yes, sir. Here we go. Here's my Honda Civic. Uh, Honda quality product. You're not, like a, that. you're not a Honda guy, though. Are I you? am a Honda you guy. You are a Honda guy. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. This is what it's all about. Works this out is, well. This is, I'm a big Honda guy and a big Australian gold guy. Nice. Yeah. Well, funny you say that. My wife just quit her job there. Oh, so. I don't like that place at all. <laughs> Terrible. They actually sponsor a rival team, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So. No, you're playing the part, so I appreciate you being nice about it. Oh, but no. no they, you know, disgusting. Now they're just good for coasters to, you know, set my phone up in this jerry-rigged you know, uh, setup that we got here. That's important. So, that's important. drivers... Eating donuts downtown with yes. me, James Hinchcliffe. Um, <laughs> thanks for being here, man. Thanks for finding this place. I did not. So here's the thing: like yeah. when it comes to donuts, if you had been like, "Hey, like, what's your favorite donut spot?" I only thought there were three options. Okay. I thought there was Dunkin' Donuts. Sure. I we have that here, right? Chain guy. Yeah. Right. Um, uh, Long's Donuts, of course. Speedway guy, of course. And then I only know about Jack's Donuts because of Connor, because Connor was sponsored by them yep. like a couple years ago or whatever. Have you been to Long's Donuts? Oh yeah, yeah, many times. So it's crazy how it's still cash there. I think they you know? finally went. I think they finally no. have no. I went out there. I heard a rumor a couple weekends ago, and it was still cash. I got up to the door because, of course, there's a line outside the door, as there always is. Got up to the door, saw the sign. I had to be that idiot that fucking turned around, and then I didn't get worse. to go. I didn't have any Why they don't have an ATM inside that place? That's what I did actually. Mind boggling. Is I went inside, I looked for an ATM. Everybody was like, "What the hell is he, is he standing?" And then I had to walk. <laughs> Look at the new guy. Like, Dude, I know. I was like, <laughs> "I've been here my whole life. I swear." <laughs> I knew this. It's getting kind of warm. I'm gonna turn the AC uh. on. But yeah, okay, so but yeah, Shane lot, Duncan. Do they have, what's the, you, so you're from Canada originally? Tim Hortons. That's it? I know where you're going with this question. The answer is Tim Hortons. That's the only one. It's the only one. I couldn't tell you another Not place. Not even a Duncan? No. I don't think so. They, so we had we had this other one when I was growing up called Country Style. I'm Krispy Kreme? Sure. Krispy Kreme did show up, yes. There okay. are, oh yeah, I forgot about Krispy Kreme. Let me make sure that we're good. Good. Krispy Kreme. I remember when Krispy Kreme opened the first one opened in Canada, and the lineup was like <laughs> four hours long to get a donut. And a buddy of mine, he like, I don't know, I forget if he liked. It was probably like weeks later. Went and got like a dozen donuts, yeah. brought them over. And we're like, man, these are so good. And we smashed like five each. Yeah. And had no concept of how bad that was to do in one sitting. Nope, because they, nope. they just melt in your mouth. They were the, incredible, the best. Very and now incredible. they used to be all over Indy, and now they're not. They're gone. They, are they like done done or they just left? No, no. I was just in New York last week or yeah, last week and they had Everywhere. a bunch. They had, they, I mean, Dunkin' at every corner and then they honestly had a lot of Krispy Kremes and I was like, okay, good that they're still there, bad that they're not in Indy. Why Indiana aren't they in Indy? Anymore, we, so. See, we had a Tim Hortons in Indy for like eight minutes. Yeah. And it went sideways. There's, there's one in Fort Wayne, so it's yeah, kind of Fort Wayne's the closest one. Canada. Yeah, no I way. know. Like you can go east and find them, and you can go north and find them, but like where we're at right now, yeah. they do not exist. Here, some tidbits, get sir. you one. All right, man. So yeah, we're, this Great American Donut Company. Great American Donut Company. Yeah, off East Street. I've already done a Glazing Five here before, and I really liked it. And then you were like, "Let's go wherever," and I was like, "Hey, this is like a nice. Again, it's kind of like a hole in the wall. People I love don't that. really realize I it. I love that." So yeah, you go for the chocolate glaze or this the is the salted the, caramel. Yes, salted caramel. See, I've lived here like a dozen years now, and I still find new spots yep. all the time. Yep, and I love that. That's what I love about this. Dude, place. look at this blueberry cake. Look how blue it is. See, you mentioned the blueberry cake in Connor's episode, which yeah. I watched. This is your jam. It's my. It's one of my top five favorite foods. Of Not all just time. donuts. Foods. That's a big statement. Like I, once I get into blueberry cake donuts, I don't stop. You know, fair. so that's why I got three and the dozen that we got. <laughs> you know, so <laughs> a uh, quarter of the donuts have to be blueberry cake. You got to at least try one after that. All so right. now, there's kind of a debate in my household and with friends of mine. Mm -hmm. They say that donuts are not necessary. They're not really a breakfast food. They're more of a dessert. What say you? Okay, well, hang on. So what are the what are the sides of this argument? Because Alex Rossi and I have a podcast. Yeah. Off the track. Off track with Hinch Rossi. Yeah. Hinch Rossi. Appreciate it. And we had a similar sort of conversation come up. So I really want to hear what the two sides of this argument are. Because I do have an opinion on it. Okay. Well, my wife, for instance, she says that these are, they're, they're pastries. They're desserts. They're like something that like you think of that you would have. I mean, you don't necessarily, like you don't wake up in the morning and you have dessert. Like you don't eat a birthday cake for breakfast. Right. So why would you eat? 
a cake, you know, with, with icing on it that's a donut shape. Why would you eat that for breakfast? Okay. And then that's, my friends are kind of like, man, if you eat donuts for breakfast, then you're kind of heavy. And it's kind of, you know what I mean? It's like, it, okay. it's just kind of sitting on you all day. I'm the exact opposite. I'm like, I mean, at church, like after, I don't know if you're, you know, religious guy or whatever, but like when I grew up going to church, you now the priest would be like, and we have coffee and donuts in the atrium uh, afterwards. Great point. Yeah, because coffee and donuts is a very like common combination and coffee's definitely known as a morning thing. It's a morning thing. Cops, right? They're always like going to get coffees and donuts in the morning. When that's 24 early. seven. They also do it at like 4 a.m. or they do it in the afternoon. Yeah, that's true. But here's, so here's the thing. All you right. said a very important word. Your, okay. Part of your wife's argument is unraveling in front of us. Mm -hmm. By the way, food was really good. Um, it's funny, you know, I'm still on your side. <laughs> okay. um, but she called it a pastry. Yes. Right? What else is a pastry? Like if you go to the pastry section or like the bakery section, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to see croissants. It's a breakfast mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. Nine times out of ten. Bagels. Right? Maybe not. Maybe pastry is a stretch on bagel, but it's still she bakery. Is, now she's a huge bagel person. And Starting to see holes. She <laughs> Starting to see holes. Because you put right. cream cheese on a bagel, that's just basically icing. That is, that's the best argument I've heard so far. I can take you a step further. Okay. Are pancakes breakfast food? Oh yeah. Waffles? Mm -hmm. What are they? They're cakes with syrup on them. Yeah. It's the most desserty thing I've sure. ever actually Powdered seen. Powdered sugar Powdered too? Powdered sugar. Like it's the most, it's literally cake batter. That's just true. Just drizzled with liquid yeah. sugar and then powdered sugar on top. Thank Waffles, you. French toast, all of it. All breakfast, half the cereals that they make are just oh, yeah. like hardened just sugar, sugar and it. milk. Fruit Loops, every day for me. And they're amazing. Yeah. I love them. What's all your... my favorite breakfast foods could be construed as dessert Des by somebody. Exactly, man. So like, I'm, I'm with you. You want to do it for breakfast? Have at it. Plus, it's so like, make getting up and making like a fucking, you know, sausage and, and bacon and 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 um scrambled eggs and like a fruit like all oh, that's like that is just so much to do in the morning exhausting just roll out of bed exhausting. you already who's got that kind of time in the morning you already don't want to brew the like with brewing the coffee you're like oh like i just need it so i'll brew it you know you're tired then it's just like roll over you have the box of donuts pop one in you're good to go amen man thank you is rossi on the other side of that no, I think we all kind of came because I think there was a debate and then we all just sort of established that if you actually look at what a lot of breakfast foods are, they are essentially dessert. Mm -hmm. So like, I think we just said basically any food is breakfast food. Yeah. If you eat it in the morning, it's breakfast food. I don't think there should be a rule about that. What are we, communists? Come on. That's true. Yeah. I mean, you coming from Canada to America, you know, Canada's not communist, but like America. <laughs> Where are you going with this? <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'm just Canada's not communist. Yeah, no, I'm saying they're, that, really trying to say. they're they're like the opposite of communist. They're everybody's so friendly and so nice. That's true, right? But then like America, you know, it's known for like freedom, like yep. you know, Indy 500. Everybody's yeah, yeah. like America, big yeah. freedom guys. Exactly. Yeah. So there you go. You 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 got the American you want, in you, dude. Whatever you want. The only the only good argument that any that came up here was that ah, it's too heavy. I don't want to carry that around in the morning. Okay, I can see that. If your body doesn't like that, and it's you know it's heavy-ish, sure, fine. Okay, fine. If that's your reason, but pancakes is the same thing. Like I have pancakes. I'm out for like two or three hours. I'm not doing anything. True. Yeah. I mean, so that's like that's why you want to eat it in the morning with the five hundred. Then. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Big stack of pancakes. Nice short stack of buttermilk. Yep. And then nap for three hours straight into the race. That's cool. And then like like Connor said, you lose like fifteen pounds during the race. Do so Connor's numbers seem a bit skewed. Yeah. <laughs> I felt so bad, dude. I totally forgot he was diabetic and then he's that like, was yeah. <laughs> they don't got well I'm diabetic. So I was like shit man. Like my mother in law was actually concerned. She was like <laughs> Is he gonna be able to race on Saturday? And I was like, Yeah, he's fine. Like he's fine. <laughs> he's, he's, fine. he's been able to handle it. Like he, he gets it. Um, when you're in the car mm. and you're going two hundred miles an hour and you know, all that good stuff. All that jazz. All that. Um, is there ever a time like what would be your playlist? Like what genre of music mm. would you listen to if you could Throw on some tunes. Don't worry about just, that crumb that you just dropped just, all over the car. Like they landed on my shirt, but I'm still gonna get it. That's right, Connor had sprinkles all over it, and then they, like, he got up and his ass was caked from it, so, like, he spread the sprinkles just all over the seat, so oh. just into the seat. It's all that's good. Bad. I mean, look at you, the, the floor of the car. It's all good. I blame Connor. Yeah. All of that is Connor. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, what 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 genre? I guess it'd be, like, classic rock. I think It'd be, like, ACDC and yeah. stuff like that, you know, like, 
some so the other so like the other one is the um, Spencer Davis group give me some lovin which was kind of like the on track theme song from Days of Thunder mm -hmm. whenever they're like doing some cool racing scene where they're banging into each other and okay. doing all these very unrealistic things when they start. <laughs> right. but that was like that was that was the theme song and so when I was a kid and my dad and I were going to the go-kart track, we would play that song to like get in the mood, get ready to go. Yeah. Full on, you know, days of that a rental car scene on people. Nice. Uh, what do you think about like, um, like maybe the Rocky IV soundtrack? Have you ever seen Rocky IV? I haven't. I've not seen Rocky IV. I don't mean to be a movie guy. No, much, no but... be a movie guy. I'm a movie guy. So, oh, I know, we talked about it last time, but. So I mean, judge and recommend. Is Ro it the best of the Rockies? I think so. Okay. Yeah. That's That makes me seem like it's not a, popular opinion do you get fought on that no a lot? no i don't i just like i know that people are very passionate about rock i mean it's like a six seven franchise movie you know what i mean so that is like, true everybody has their different you know it's their like opinions. a star wars or lord of the ring you know everybody's got their opinions but like i feel like rocky four is kind of like the most universal okay hell yeah you know i mean circling back to communists he goes over and ivan drago that guy okay. ussr i've had enough of that guy so you know ivan drago oh, you've yeah, never yeah, seen yeah. the movie no yeah that's true i do know him there you go. I know a lot of people that look like him. Not a lot of people. I know a couple of people that look like him. I just want to punch them. Like Joseph Newgarden? You said it. <laughs> did I ever tell you? Did I get to tell you that story last time that we were talking? About how... <laughs> all right. Don't judge me on this because everybody... like Connor gives me this reaction all the time. Uh, it was like 2018. Mm -hmm. I think it was Carb Day 2018. Okay. Excuse me. I was at my previous job. So we're out the track and we're like... Uh, um, right, but kind of catty corner of the pagoda where um, the radio, you know, stations kind of set up. Yeah, sometimes yeah. everything yeah. like that. And I'm, I'm at my previous job working there. I have sunglasses on. I think I had a ball cap on. I had, I didn't have any. Like I had short hair, nice mm -hmm. trim, buzz cut. And but I had a hat on. And uh, you know, I had not some quarantine weight, so I was a little bit more, you know, looking good. People thought you were Jesse. I had I had three people come up to me throughout the day. No They're way. like, I'm sorry. Are you? Justin Newgarden? And <laughs> Please I was, tell me you played it up at least once. Dude, I was too dumb at the time, <laughs> and I didn't. And I was like, I, I now I definitely would have because I like have a sense of like you know that kind of shit. But right. then I didn't, and so I was just like, ah, I, I'm sorry, I'm not. <laughs> But I've taken that, hey, ever, ever since I've been like, you know, I'll put up some side by sides of me looking my absolute best. Yeah. And then just Joseph, because he's always listening to Just on an everyday, normal on an everyday, day. normal yeah, basis. Just chiseled features. And, exactly, yeah. exactly. And uh, yeah, that's my like claim. I like you know? that. No, that's good. That's good. You actually, you know the buddy that I uh, do videos with? Yeah, so yeah. Plenty? Yeah. You guys are very. That's true. Well, so, here, so it's funny. So when I first, my first uh, year in IndyCar was 2011, right? And there was two other, there's a couple, there's a bunch of rookies that year. And two of them were Charlie Kimball and J.R. Hildebrand. Okay. And we are all like 5'9", five, 5'10", five, white guys with <laughs> short hair and like a 5 o'clock shadow kind of thing. Like mm -hmm. I didn't have quite the, as much of a beer at the time. Yeah. And we would constantly be mistaken for one another. Like I would get called <laughs> Charlie or Jr. more than James, and Charlie would get Jr. and James more than Charlie. Like, yeah. It was this constant confusion between because we were all new, and we were all five foot ten white guys with short hair and scruff. So did you guys decide that you got them together and you're like, all right, look, you you have to get this haircut, you have to shave the beard, you have like to differentiate yourselves. Kind of. I mean, we sh we should have been a little more strategic in that. We, what we did was we actually made a little video to to like put nice. out there and explain to people the Smart. differences. But now it's sort of naturally happened because JR's now got long hair, so that helps. And Charlie has uh, kids. So that's the big differentiator there. <laughs> he's just got that dad Yeah, they're just, body, yeah. The dad no, no, he's just, he's just, yeah, he's just, a, yeah, I don't know, he's just... Okay. He's a great dad. I feel like you've always had the same haircut. You ever Pretty think much. About, you know, the counter's got the mullet, you know, everybody, you, got, you think about trying something a little new, spicy? Or is the facial hair just kind of your claim? Yeah, that's kind of my thing. Yeah. I'm the bearded guy. Yeah. But then Jimmy Johnson showed up now, and he's, like, way more famous than I am and has, like, a sick beard, too, so... I'm... Does... I feel like, like... Maybe it's just because my mom does, but I feel like all the moms have crushes on Jimmy Johnson. Is that a... I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. I don't know. Like, she got into NASCAR heavy for a while because she just, like, had this big crush on Jimmy Johnson. He's just so likable, man. He's just, like, the nicest guy. And, like, he went through this phase where he was absolutely dominating. And, like, a lot of times when guys are that good, they're complete okay. jerks about it. Right, right, right. He was so not that guy. He was just, like, a super nice dude. Mm -hmm. He still is. He's, like, the most humble guy for, like, how insanely successful he is. 
are, I feel like most IndyCar guys are. Are there a few, though, that you're kind of like, uh, you don't have to name them, you know, but they're just kind of like, naturally, it's like coworkers, right? You're just kind of like, eh, I don't really mess with that guy. Not really. I mean, it's funny because, like, Rossi's a funny example because he openly acknowledges that he hates people. Yeah. And he's just like, he's like kind of, he's like, like Serbia, kind of moody. Right? Like, like Serbia? Oh, wait. <laughs> is that still a thing? No, I don't think that's still a thing. He, he fucking hit him with the, hey, bye now, bye yeah. now, going across. Yes, you know. his his like Italian roots came out with the big, <laughs> the big hand motions at 220 miles an hour. It's like, man, a lot can happen at those speeds. You should probably keep your hands on the wheel. Like, Dude. That's a thing. Yeah, just fucking like uh, drivers educating uh, teachers everywhere. We're just freaking yeah, out. Yeah, Because he's in the Indy car, just, you know, not he, 10 and 2 in it. He definitely became like a, like a video clip for the, here are the 10 <laughs> don'ts <laughs> of <laughs> driving a car. And it's a sick scene of Alex Rossi just giving Serbia the... <laughs> So yeah. he, but he openly like he openly hates people on the yeah. car circuit. Not, well, series just just people in general. Oh, so he okay. Yeah, like he's a very like he can be the most like charming, awesome guy. Oh, yeah. But then sometimes when he's not on, in that place, he just he doesn't want to fake it, and so he doesn't he try doesn't. to fake it, and he acknowledges that. Like he's totally fine with the fact that somebody like yeah, I, I, I saw you the other day. You were you were in a bad mood. You were kind of a dick, and he's like. Yeah, I was in a bad mood. What do you, what do you want me to do? This is and I respect that because in our position, right? When there's always someone, like there's always someone watching. There's always someone that wants there's to, like someone like me, like wants to, you know, <laughs> fucking take you in his car and get donuts. Just eat donuts. And donuts. Shit. Yeah. I wish there was more of that. Actually, that would be great. Yeah. But you know, you you, you feel like obligated to always be on and always just kind of, you know, you got to yeah. be nice to everybody, whatever. Yeah. And, and that's fine. Like they don't know you're having a bad day, whatever. But I kind of I kind of respect that Alex is sometimes just like not doing that. I don't have to do that. I'm not going to do that. This is this is just absolutely ultimate timing here. You're telling me this because I'm actually interviewing him tomorrow. Awesome. So this is. Uh, I really now, hope you get him in a good mood. <laughs> no, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight <laughs> because I'm going to be thinking about whether or not Rossi Dude. is going to be you know playing the game with him. So we do our podcast, right? We've got this. We got a producer, producer with them, and we'll like log on. And him and I'll be sitting there waiting for Alex to come on, which to be fair, usually I'm the last one there, but uh -huh. a few times Rossi's later than me. We'll sit there and then Alex will log on and we can tell in like two seconds. He'll like he'll just log on and be like, There's literally nothing I want to do less than this right at this moment. And we're like, all right, this is gonna be a good show. And roll. God dang, it's man. So funny. But actually those end up being some of the better ones because he just man. he just sounds off on things and it's great. I think fucking Rossi diva. I think you're gonna get it. I think you're gonna get a good Rossi tomorrow. Maybe okay, yeah, like you said, maybe that could be a good thing. Like maybe that could play you know, if he's in a bad mood, then maybe it's like uh all of a sudden now he gets into like Larry David, uh, you know, George Costanza mode where he's just like firing off about shit. Oh, and I can that, see that. That could be funny. Yeah. But I'm trying to think, I'll give you some topics to bring up. Yeah. I've I'll already got a couple fired. in my in my head. Um because uh, Connor said that he doesn't think that we land on the moon. Do you think we land on the moon? It's funny. I actually meant as soon as I sat in the car to open with that. Yeah. Because I did watch that. And Alex brings this up on the podcast all the time. Of course we landed on the moon. Alex is insane. He probably thinks the Earth is flat. Don't, 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 because you confirmed that you think the Earth is round in our last convo. Um, don't tell me his reasoning because I have to pick his brain about that. We might, that's maybe that's all fine. we talk about. That, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> you can do that. It's just where those napkins are. Yeah, you put I, them? I don't know where I put them. I think if you sit in your pocket, I can pocket pass one of those bags. over. Yes, sir. What a bar. There you go. Well, Thanks, you. Buddy. Um, so what would you what'd you get into next? I get a little glazed. Glazed? Yeah. What do you think? Maybe you are kind of big. The croissant. The I want to try this thing. Up in the croissant. Man. So this thing, we were told. What? what how did she explain it? It's, it's like a, a croissant <laughs> make, cooked like a donut. Yeah. It's kind of hold it up. Yeah. It's, it's kind of, and do do like the show that angle because it's like yeah. It, it, you can see the like layers of croissantness in there, yes. which what they had a name for it that I disagreed with because I've seen something like this before when I was in L.A. and it was called a cronut. Croissant yes, that would make sense. It makes way more sense yeah. than the name they had. They had a like they called Benny, it Benny or something. Benny, maybe. Benny? But let me tell you, I remember the Krona in LA, and it was one of the most magical experiences of my life. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, go ahead, hit that up. Um, oh, God, had the blueberry good. so good here that I kind of just wow. There's some crunch in that. What a full on croissant. Show the inside layers of that right yeah. there. I'm just open right up. 
Yeah, it's like a shot in there. Need some and then gravy, like biscuits and gravy. For oh man, that is solid. Holy wow. crap. Uh, another conspiracy I want to ask you about. Mm. I love conspiracy theories. JFK, where do mm -hmm. you stand? Inside job? I think he died. Like, <laughs> this is my personal opinion. I, you know, I, 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 sometimes I can't tell from that video, so yeah, I, I'm glad I'm, that you I'm confirmed free. that for me. I was not there, but yeah. I have sources that have confirmed Good. that I trust that That's some, he did not make it. See, this is why you watch Drivers Eating Donuts, because you get, you know, Adam Schefter worth, uh, you know, worthy uh, mm -hmm. bombs that are dropped. Mm -hmm. um, inside job? Lee Harvey? Just, just one? What do you think? Is that, being a Canadian, is that... Just kind of out of your, you know, really. No, no, because that was, I mean, that that transcended American politics, right? Sure. So that was a big deal. And again, several decades before I was born, and still know a lot about it. Yeah. Because I'm a big Kevin Costner fan. But <laughs> so here's my theory on this. Yep. And wait, wait, do we have other ones we're going to talk about after this? Mm, I mean, maybe whatever we stumble into. So here's then this. I hate to give him credit for it because the producer on our podcast, them, is. Objectively, a terrible person. Okay, but he did have a did good. You say Thim? Well, his name's Tim, but we call, we call him Thim because he doesn't like it. Okay, so nice. He has a theory about conspiracy theories, and I'm nothing if not a guy that follows logic, right? And this is why this is actually why Rossi and I get along really well because mm -hmm. Rossi is very intelligent, right, and very is very strong opinions. Yep. But if you can present him with a logical argument he will acquiesce and be like, okay, you're right. And so him Fair. and I can be on opposite sides of things, okay. but whoever come, whoever actually has a logical argument, the other one can admit they were wrong and that argument's better and so go with that. Hold on. You're saying that there's actually people that can hear out an argument and not just be diehard tied to their opinion? There's at least two of us. Wow, And we man. happen to find each other and start a That's podcast. That's big. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <clears throat> So, so Thim's logical area, this is why I had to side with it because it's just too logical. He believes in no conspiracy theories because the human nature does not allow it to exist. To cover up something like the moon landing or JFK or whatever else you want to go with would take the like, yeah. the unbridled cooperation from so many people and people just love being the whistleblower. Sure. Right, so okay. like, like the moon landing one is is easy. Like, it would take fifty thousand people keeping their mouth shut for that to have been pulled off. There's just no way. There's no way you found yeah. that many people that were willing to just take that to the grave without letting it slip. Fair point. Counterpoint. Mm. What if these instances, moon landing, JFK, uh, fucking Sasquatch, you know, what if they they are so big, so big on a grand scale that like. And some weird kind of reverse psychology, humans and human nature want to believe in conspiracy. So like, even if they, so like if the government released files, it was like, uh, yeah, there was uh, back in 1960, whatever, 63, there was a CIA operation um, of people who, you know, got in and they were like the whistleblowers, not whistleblowers, but they got in and they, they conspired and they killed JFK and, um, you know, we're really sorry about it, but that's what happened. It wasn't Lee Harvey Oswald. We had to cover our ass then. And they told us, like, they tell us that's right. Would you actually believe them or would you be like, uh, I don't know? I, cause I think most people would be like, you know, I still don't know. Now you're saying I don't trust the government to tell me that, that this is the truth because they lied the whole last exactly. 60 years. Yeah. It's an interesting point. I, I, it's kind of like the UFO thing. Yeah. Because, like, very recently, there's been, like, in the last couple of years, yeah. there's been, like, F-18 pilots that have been like, we saw this thing. Yeah, that, right. There, there is no explanation for it. Exactly. And it just kind of got buried in page 17 of USA Today, and, like, no one talks about it. Right. I, I think I think that the, the overall feel and, like, excitement and mystery, that sells so much more than people just being like, yeah, this is actually, like... I think if, unless aliens were attacking, if aliens, like, if they came out tomorrow, we're like, here's a picture of aliens that we found, here's us with them, here is where they came down, here's a ship that came down, and everybody would be like, whoa. And then, like, the next day, they'd be on to the next thing. Mm. Unless they were coming down zapping mothers. Well, well, I think the other thing is, there'd be people that still wouldn't believe it, like you said, yeah. right? Like, there are people that... I mean, I hate, I hate to bring it up. There are people that think Sandy Hook didn't happen. 
Yeah. Right. Like, sure. There's a lot. I mean, every every big thing. There's right. some conspiracy. But yeah. once, like, a, that one's really hard to argue. You yeah. know. Yeah. And like, so that, so yeah, you could have the you could have the aliens standing right there, and they'd just be like, "That's not a real alien." Sure. Yeah. I mean, the, but you never answered the JFK. Like, what do you personally think? Oh, that's a tough one. I personally think it was probably just the dude. Probably just Lee Harvey, Lee Harvey Oswald. Why? It's it's too big. Somebody by now, somebody would have come out with something more compelling than what they have. I've seen all the things with the angle of this, that, second shooter, whatever, Magic whatever. bullet, all that. Yeah, yeah. There's there's probably another exploit. Here's the thing: in our line of work, right, in, mm -hmm. in indie car racing, yeah. there are a lot of things that we monitor, and we have all this data that we go through, and this, that, and the other. And it's like anything. You can look at certain pieces of data and tell one side of the story. Yeah. Or you can look at the other side, other pieces of data and tell a complete different side okay. of the story. And so I feel like you can look at all the information around JFK and you can tell it either way you want. But if it was a cover-up, at some point, somebody would have slipped something. All right. What if I... I'm going to drop this on you. You know. You know who did it. <laughs> the, so you know how he got shot multiple times like there's there's three shots they say that ring out or whatever, okay right he reaches for his neck he gets shot through this point like his trachea yeah okay goes like this oh god leans forward bam kill shot to the head right that you see on all the films that you confirmed yep. from your sources yes. earlier he did he did perish he perished those are two different bullets that one that hit him in the neck mm -hmm. did not fragment on impact mm -hmm. The reason that the headshot did that is because it's a bullet that fragments when it has impact. What kind of shooter puts two different kinds of bullets in his gun? A guy that's clinically insane. You think? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, I get like I mean, insane people do some pretty me, insane shit, right? You kind of just shut me down pretty quick there. I was like, I, there's just, that's what I'm saying. He's like, that's a very compelling argument. Yeah. But being nuts is also a, like you do sure. some weird stuff. It's yeah. just hard. It's hard to know which way to go with that. So. That's the thing, man. Like, here's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna waste a lot of energy trying to figure that out. I know. I got like really deep into it when I was like 20 years old, and then I was like, I grew up enough to where I was like, what? Like, what is this going to? It's never gonna. <laughs> what, and what's? You know, what am I gonna find? What if I do? Like, then what? And no one, no one's, Like I said, no one's gonna believe me. Right. And then the government might just kill. Me. You might. I just kill. Me. They might. I probably should. I probably should cut that. We. <laughs> Dude, they're gonna come after us, man. Uh, they know. We know too much, man. We know too much. What about you? What's a big Canadian one? I, I keep bringing it up, but I just am like curious about what the different childhood was like. Or, well, uh, we probably watched a lot more hockey. Yeah. Than you did growing up. Definitely. Me and yeah. Indy, yeah. Yeah. Although Wayne Gretzky did briefly play yeah. in Minneapolis. Yeah. For the Racers. The shop. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to them. They have like that gear for him. <coughs> Big conspiracy. I don't think we really have any, man. We're pretty just, we just kind of go with the flow. We don't like coming up with. Just kind of hanging. Yeah, we like, we're just happy knowing that, like, oh, that's what it, okay. We trust you. We're pretty trust, pretty, pretty trusting people. That's fair. Yeah. How'd you feel? How did, how did you and your other, like, um, fellow Canadians feel when everybody over the last, like, five years with all the craziness in America was just like, oh, I'm moving to Canada? Yeah, well, it was funny because none of them did. <laughs> like, like yeah. I remember like fielding so many calls and questions from people, like legitimately people calling up being like, hey, so like what are the nice areas of this city? Or like, where should we look here? Do you have any immigration lawyers I could talk to? I'm like, yeah, sure. Like I can help you with all of that stuff. And literally not one of them went anywhere. So, I mean. It was a lot of, like there was a website back in 16 after that election there was literally a website that was that some guy started to like, and it was just information on how to like immigrate up to Canada from the states or whatever. And the guy had to quit his job and like hire three people because they were getting so many hits on the oh website. I would love to like have him do a follow. I bet he's back at a real job. Let's put it that way. Right. You know, unless he just super like, you know, he got the domain like how to move to Canada.org, you know, and it's like everybody that's the most Google Google thing And so it just got maybe all those hits maybe sold it to somebody big some big tech so company hammered it big And now he's just living See, off, an off island of how to somewhere. Move to Canada. Yeah, I just I figured that that would be the answer. Yeah, a lot of people didn't a I did not know 
that you actually had <laughs> multiple people who were calling oh, you. Oh, that's funny. Like good friends of mine being yeah. like, "Yeah, we're we're considering it." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, I understand." Here's here's all the information, sure. and but like, but nobody pulled the trigger. Wow. And I get it. That's a big move. That's a big move. Big move. Like if you don't agree with somebody's politics, right, to uproot your entire life and go to a different country, <laughs> not just like a different state or city, right. like an entire different country, yeah. like renounce your citizenship. Like this is a four to eight year problem. Sure. Max. Yeah. Right. right. So yeah. it's like, yeah, that seems like a seems like a big seems like a big thing. Bit drastic. Bit drastic. Just, just yeah. But everyone just needs to take a breath. Teach their own. Teach their own. Yeah. But again, none of them did it. So teach the same. Because <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they did the same thing, it. which was they didn't stay here. Um, <laughs> you're very well known for being on Dancing with the Stars. And it's 30 minutes into the combo. Mm -hmm. And I haven't brought it up. And That's fair. You know, it's fair. It's uh, I didn't really Part know it. what I'm not is. That's where I learned what a cronut was. There you go. Oh, okay. That's why I was in L.A. Nice. for the show. You're in L.A. Um, you can dance, obviously. Well. Well, I mean dance well enough to be on the show and be like people were like oh James Hinchcliffe yeah like you know a lot of like moms I'm sure were like oh that James Hinchcliffe he's so nice and charming you know even though he's already married so sorry but I bet there's a lot of moms out there that were like I, why, gee, why can't you meet a nice guy like James Hinchcliffe I got a lot of oh you're my grandma's favorite <laughs> I got a yeah. Lot of that. yeah 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 dude that's that's awesome though you know, that's that proud. Was, I own that demographic in the indie girl yeah. world like Jimmy's got like the mom moms. age the grandmas Right there, big hinge fans. They want to. They want. They want their granddaughter to bring. You know, their yes. granddaughter Betsy to bring home a hinge. Correct. That's fine. Um, so you can dance, but can you sing? God no. Can't. No. Mm -mm. I can't even, even really dance. I mean, here's the thing. Dance on national television. Here's the thing. When you do that, so like you get back from that show, right? Yeah. And because we finished second, so I was like, oh yeah. They're like. Show us a dance. Show us a dance move. Do do some dance, monkey dance. Mm, you and it's like, are, yeah. Okay. Let me let me just like frame this up for you how this worked, right? Okay. <clears throat> Somebody else picked a song. Somebody else choreographed dance moves. Yep. I then spent eight to twelve hours a day for six days mm -hmm. in a row practicing those exact moves to that exact song while being essentially dragged around the floor by a professional. Yes. You had the same what was her name? Sharna. She was the same one to dance with Antonio Brown. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so you're oh, nice, nice. Yep. And so, like, yeah, if you give me a week and a song and a pre-choreographed routine and a professional to do it with, yeah, I can dance for you. Yeah. But to just, like, put on your iPod and be like, all right, go, show me a move. Like, that's not how that works. I can't do that. So I'm what, going back to this. What you're like saying is a lot of pressure at wedding receptions. There was. There was, yeah, briefly, there was. Uh, I just were... avoided people's weddings for, like, a year. <laughs> you go to the wedding, but you dip out the reception because you just yeah. you didn't want to get thrown in the dance circle. Yep. But if you if you were thrown in, you could at least like remember some of them, right? But all of them, like I had a, you I had a, partner, a partner, and nice. no one else knew what I knew, right? So it was like it was really tough. So was your first dance with your wife too crazy, or was it pretty? It kind of was. So yeah. we brought, so my my partner Sharna from the show, like her wedding gift to us was she helped us choreograph a routine. Ah, so, that's like, so she cool, came man. Out for like a week and like. So my wife and I got to do it, and, and, and it was great because Becky was like, "Man, this is a lot of work." She was with me in LA, but she was like, "I didn't realize how hard this was, yeah, like how dude. much work this was." Physically demanding. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. I mean, that's like a really good. I mean, sometimes like I kind of just want to do just dance for we if like I need to because that's some good cardio, dude. It's like I lost so much weight yeah. on that show. Now part of it was muscle because like the way we train, we need pretty big sure. upper body strength for yeah, the, yeah. the race car or whatever. Um, so I, I did lose a bit of muscle because I wasn't like lifting weights, but I was also like the leanest I've ever been. Yeah, like, dude. Four percent body fat because you're just on your feet all day. Mm -hmm. You don't even have time to eat. Yeah. You're moving the whole day. Like it was crazy. What percent are you at now? I have her between like nine and ten. Yeah, I'm probably like eighteen or twenty. <laughs> <laughs> say, dude, My wife got one of these <laughs> one of these scales that you can stand on that like is supposed to measure that. I've zero faith that it's accurate at all I but mean, like she loves obsessing over it and like every once in a while i'll hop on there and be like what's it today yeah what's right it? it'll change tomorrow <laughs> oh yeah no it'll change by like noon like it's yeah i mean cor like it, what like i'm still recovering from qu and quarantine was just so like i mean you know did you did you get like, the the covid 19 <laughs> did that happen exactly yeah yeah that, i've never that's the first time i've heard that but that happened and it's just like you know happy hour and just creeped up 40 minutes each day it was like <laughs> start at 5 30 and then you know, by the time we're a month in, it's like, hey, maybe 4.45, 4 
if uh, yeah. five, four o'clock, that sounds pretty nice. Yeah. You might get a glass of wine. Yeah. Um, so Yeah, that, that kind of happened. I kind of... Well, because like, everything just stopped, right? Like, we were at the first race yeah. of the season. Yeah, We shit. were in St. Pete, ready to get going, and then the world shut down. We had no idea when it was going to start back up. Yep. And so for like a couple weeks there, it was just like... Like I'm kind of like I'm upset. I'm depressed. Like I don't know what's happening with the Scary, world and, and yeah. our, our industry and whatever. It's like I'm just gonna have a bourbon over this and think about it. And you do it at the same time tomorrow. I mean, yeah. It's like okay, well, shit. I guess I'll just play my PS2 that I, you know, got out of the nice. box, you know. And then uh, I actually, because I was playing PS2, then I got a Nintendo 64. You know, oh, dude, so I've never, I've never gotten off 64. It's the best. It's, it's the it's best system the that's ever best. existed. Um, I know that last time we talked, you had, uh, or uh, and and Connor mentioned this when we were talking, mm. and he said that you kind of get the, um, yeah, go ahead, throw place that there for right now, yeah, just put it there, whatever you need. To um, you said that you get the street signs, and you kind of have a nice collection of different. Oh yeah, street yeah, signs yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody's like that, so yeah. I figured I wanted to give you a little gift, you a little something for taking the time. Love You're not that. a coffee guy, so I feel bad, but maybe that's all right. A little. Um, you said bourbon or whiskey? Bourbon. Yeah. 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 The bourbon little bourbon in coke in there. Absolutely. And this nice mug, cup of Joey. So I wanted to gift Love it to that. you for well, being I a guest. I appreciate that. Thank you kindly. I might have to take up coffee drinking now. Yeah, yeah. Give it a shot. Start with something but light again, it, with it, creamy, you know. And uh, I just, I just, here's the thing with coffee. If I ever have to drink anything, I'll just drink an espresso. Okay. I just knock just it back in one go sure. just to get it all out of the way because it's Do me a favor. Terrible. With this. Yeah. Your wife's this name is Becky? Golden Chalice. Yes. Becky. Okay. Big coffee. Big coffee girl. She's a big coffee girl. There you go. So, I don't know. This weekend coming up or something. Mm -hmm. If you got time when you're not at the track, it's a nice May, mm -hmm. late spring day. Yep. Get up early. You know, have her pour her a cup of Joe. You pour yourself one in that. Go out on the patio or wherever. Just sip it. early. It's kind of chilly a little bit so enough. And then just A little sip brisk. It and just take it in. Okay. And then just, get, you know, and then it's like kind of an experience thing. Yeah. And then now you start to like it more. Right. You know? But then, okay, so how many how many cups do you have in the morning? Probably close to three. Three? Yeah. Okay. That's your average? I, you know, it's like definitely two. And then on that second or third one, then all of a sudden it's like... Am I having a panic attack, or am right. I just down too much coffee before 9 a.m.? <laughs> okay, so when was the last time you had a day where you didn't start with two or three? Like, maybe none. Dude, um... Man, I, I, I really couldn't tell you. I mean, I, I, like, I never thought I would get to this point, you know, when you're growing up. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, and you're like, adults with coffee, what? And it's, it's just like... It's, it's a thing. huge part of my life. Like yeah. I, every day, I mean, I'm getting, I'm pouring my own. I'm making a trip to Starbucks or General Man, wherever. I can't remember the last time. Do you think that if you like didn't have coffee tomorrow and like maybe didn't have coffee the next day, that you'd feel like, it? Feel it? Yeah, definitely. Headaches, shakes, feeling just a headache, a little bit, kind of just kind of just like a little bit of a grogginess, off. Yeah. a little off. Yeah, I mean, it's and then like I'll come back and double down at like two o'clock, two thirty. Right pour myself another one yeah maybe go get an iced coffee since it's kind of warmer you yeah. know yeah so just just give that a try okay you and the missus okay i think it'll be worth it and then if you don't like it just dump it out and just pour the bourbon in and, and look and look the coffee is in the donut on the logo yeah which further proves that donuts are a breakfast food full circle that's it's right why, there that's why you're a pro dude boom james thanks so much buddy appreciate it bud good luck Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're we'll put some milk in this. There we go. There you go. Yeah. I'll drink this up. in Victory Lane. I love it. <laughs>